congratulations. Thank you. First OB2 1000 final. How do you feel right now? Feels amazing, actually. Yeah, first first tournament, first final. Uh, yeah, didn't expect was playing match by match, and yeah, it went to the final. Unbelievable. Hi, congratulations. Thank you. I wonder if you want to say something more about what happened at the end. You refused to shake hands, and then if you if you want to say something more or not. To say uh, more about what? About uh, the fact that you refused to shake hands uh, at the end, uh, if you want. Yeah, we didn't shake hands because uh, the girl is from Russia, basically, so it's no secret why I didn't shake, because this country actually <laughs> attack Ukraine. So yeah, this is sport, I understand, but it's also kind of a politician thing. So yeah, it has nothing personal, but in general, yes, it's not uh, acceptable. Hi, congrats. Um, last year at Wimbledon, you talked about how, how much you wanted to help uh, Ukraine, your family, and as, much, I mean, as many people as possible. Um, how much have you been able to help? And is this week, with the prize money you're going to get, uh, also going to help you uh, in that regard? Even without this prize money, I was helping, yeah. But like, how have you been able to help and who? You just your family? Not only my family, but I don't like to make it like so public, you know? It's not like a lot of people, yeah, but it's some people that I know, some people that I don't know, but maybe 10, 5 to 10. Does the up and down of this match, uh, is, is the result of this uh, difficult uh, mm -hmm. Psychical uh, problems you have uh, against with, with Russia with your uh, opponent or, or is normal? Sorry, I, I mean, he was. He was wondering if um, the up and down had to do with who you were playing, but I think she's kind of talked about playing the Russian. If you don't want to. Speak but to what that. was the question? Sorry. The question was about if the up and down nature of the match was due to you playing the Russian. No, that was because she was also a top player, a very great player, anyway. So yes, it was a big fight, just it was about tennis. I'm also like, it was tough. I win 7-5, then I lost a little bit, maybe concentration, also too much nerves because I was serving for the match. This is my first semi-final. I was trying to a little bit turn off the emotions, but you know, it's very tough when you're playing such tough matches. So sometimes you're like, you really want to go for it. You really want to finish the match. And then it's a trouble. Yes, and I did this mistake. But third set, I was, uh, I think, much better mentally. It was staying stronger, more focused. Yes, and I'm really happy and proud of myself how I handle it after the second set. I'm going uh, after, yeah, sorry. Uh, after a, a second match like this, so long match, you have already won. Uh, how stronger you are after this tournament? <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how much stronger. I, I, I was playing basically it just didn't go a little bit in Indian Wells, Miami, Charleston, but Madrid. <laughs> I'm just saying that I was losing kind of second, third round, even first. But yeah, now it went through. So yeah, it's tennis. This is sport. And uh, I respect everyone. It can go both ways. Yeah, I just I appreciate the moment that it, it goes to my way. <laughs> yeah, now. Hello. Congrats for your result. Uh, do you hope to get a sponsor after this final? Because I mean, it's the second time you get into the top 30 this year. So I mean, uh, why you don't have a sponsor? I don't know if you had some request or not, but I mean, being top 50, very consistent, it's... Yeah, I have a unusual. sponsor a sponsorship with Yonex. I still don't have sponsor for clothes, but like, yeah. We're waiting, we're open. Yeah, we'll see. I have to improve my tennis, yeah be high in the rankings because all the girls as you see they're like everyone is good so it's not only about me it's about this market in general you mentioned last year how your family home or your parents home was was bombed i'm just wondering what the status is of your family or have they been uh, able to rebuild anything or where are they living and you said your grand your grandparents were in uh, occupied territory is that is that still the case my whole family now is in kiev yep 
And actually, a few days ago was uh, where my family is working because my mom and dad, they're like tennis coaches. And it was a huge, huge bomb near them, near their academy. Near the tennis courts. Yeah, near the tennis court because we have uh, academy and just, I don't know, maybe 300 meters airport. And there is no airport. <laughs> this is how they live. Hi. Well, Hello. Congratulations. Thank Ciao. You. The, uh, um, how do you react to the fact that here in Italy there is quite a lot of support yes. to Ukraine? Even here before the tournament, you had an evening where we met and uh, they were helping Ukraine. And I'd like to know if in Nova Kakovka, where you were born, is a, is a situation much worse than anywhere else, or more or less is the same everywhere? And uh, how much you are in contact with the people who live there? I don't know if your family is still, I didn't understand very well what you say, if the family is still there close to the airport, which is not existing anymore? Or yeah, yeah, I understand the question. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I was saying, I don't know, two months maybe ago that uh, before my grandmother and grandfather, they were in Novakakhovka. This is uh, currently occupied territory by Russian soldiers, but they were able to go immediately when it was attacked. So currently my whole family is in Kiev. So I have no connections with uh, Nova Kachovka anymore because everyone is in Kiev. Yep, kind of this. And I'm super happy because it's absolutely impossible there to stay, to leave, because uh, there was so much weapon and uh, so much soldiers near my grandmother and grandfather house. It was absolutely not possible to leave, to stay and uh, they are very old people, so for them it was very tough to make this decision, you know, to move from that city because they're living, I don't know, 60 years there or 65. And it was, uh, yeah, we kind of pushed them, like, you have to go, because, no, it's, it's, not, it's not a normal life. And, uh, yeah, when the bomb came directly to their house, but it was a little bit maybe, I don't know, just a couple of meters left, not exactly in their apartment, but left. They're like kind of wake up and realize, oh my God, yeah, we have to move. And uh, what about the reaction of Italy uh, towards Ukraine, towards yes. you in particular, to other girls? Uh, did you notice something more passionate, let's say more a heat or? Uh, I would say that uh, here the crowd was supporting me so much during the whole week, so during the two weeks actually, so I was feeling so much support, I, I don't remember where I was playing and almost for me it was like the whole stadium was cheering me up, so yeah, it's kind of amazing feeling, I've never experienced something like that, they bring so much energy to fight when you don't even like have energy to do that. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank every person who was in the stadium from the first match to hopefully tomorrow I will have another match. Thanks for them. And yeah, they kind of motivated me and give, they give me much more energy to fight. Angie, congratulations. Thank you. Um, just looking ahead uh, to either playing Elena or, uh, Yel uh, well, Elena. Yeah, <laughs> well, Alena and Elena, yeah, yeah, both, yeah. Same, yeah. I know both of yeah. them, yeah. So can you just talk a little bit about the challenge and also just physically, given what you have had to do the last three matches, uh, how is the 24-hour turnaround and how are you feeling about that? Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, I would say that it was a huge advantage for me that after Tuesday I have two days off. After Hadat Maya I was resting Wednesday, then I just hit maybe 45 minutes on Thursday, so today I was feeling much better than previous days. I, I had my time, I was like recovered, so that was a huge advantage that we kind of had this day off. And if I would say about Rybakina or Astapenka, I mean, 
Both are Grand Slam champions. Both girls are super aggressive on court. I played both of them, yeah. And for me, it doesn't matter who's gonna win because it's gonna be t so tough anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway.